we're gonna need that later, so keep that going. Music for me started off as being mostly just something to do with friends. Uh, my, my friend Ben Gunning got a guitar at his 15th birthday and I just sort of thought like, well, what do I do? I think my brother came back with a harmonica from a trip to Germany or something like that. So I learned how to play the blues harp and, and, uh, and started jamming with Ben and that just became the new thing to do. I can't say enough positive things about uh, recording Wall of Fire with a producer like Charlie Sexton. We were all kind of nervous because we were going in to do it with uh, this guy, Charlie Sexton, who we all knew his name. Now this is like a heavy hitter. I was scared that after the first day, he would be like, oh man, it's bad, it's bad, sucks. Your stories about producers reading the newspaper while um, just lie on a couch the whole time. <laughs> Sounds good, another take. Sure enough, the guy walked in, he was like long lost brother. He was a riot, you know, he was laughs from top to bottom and he, and he fit right in with the band. The tour was fantastic. I really feel like our band kind of came together in every sense of the word. On a tour like that with Joel Plaskett playing so many nights, usually you know, you're going you're gonna to get tighter as musicians. So um, I really felt that that happened to the point where we sort of started to loosen up and I feel the live show is kind of uh, becoming something kind of special. so much fun because Doug had never been across Canada. We were able to, uh, you know, hey Doug, wake up, you're missing it, and uh, <laughs> point out point out the fun stuff to him. We got the idea of stopping along the road in different places and plugging all the gear into the van battery. Peter Elkis here once again with the Elkis band, the Alcoholics. <laughs> and uh, filming ourselves, just sort of announcing the upcoming tour dates. Vancouver on the 18th. <laughs> I feel like the guys in the band are, are just really on board and excited to do it again. Are you ready to rock? The song Wall of Fire was, uh, was written, I may as well just pretend in my memory that I wrote it all in one night, even though that's probably not true. Someone is knocking on my door, I've got to put the phone down now. I did finish it at least very late at night, one night, and, and recorded a very quiet, kind of tremolo -y electric guitar version of it. Is it a mistake? Yeah, I don't know. I would only know it if I let you go. And it had a real soul kind of quality to it, and so I thought that that would be a really nice direction for the entire record. Well, because walking through a wall of fire would be easy. A couple of people have asked me, who's Nancy? And uh, the funny thing is that, I mean, there's nobody uh, named Nancy. And, um, it's just, it's kind of a funny name. Actually, you know what? Telling this story is kind of weird because there is a person called Sweet Nancy. This one dude, Tristan, always shows up with this girl, Nancy, and he's like, huh, this is Sweet Nancy. And I thought it was really funny. And almost just kind of as a gift to them, I just named the character in the song, Sweet Nancy. I know you don't believe me, but I think it's time you leave me now. One night, as we were going to Ted's, uh, this bar in Toronto, Peter was singing uh, a song. I'll have a shot and the cream or beer. I'll have a shot and the beer. <laughs> the next day we were singing the song because we thought it was hilarious. And Charlie uh, got all excited. He's like, that's the hook. On the outro of Paid Back, you can hear uh, this melody that comes in. We were lucky enough to go down to Cuba. We went to Havana and made this video. and. I'm riding a bicycle and the bicycle takes off, it flies. So I was just sort of waiting to do this minor, very minor stunt, which was just to ride a bicycle up a ramp onto the back of a truck. I think everybody thought I was gonna like evil Knievel the truck on a bike. And I ride the bike down the street 
and everyone's like cheering and cheering and cheering and then I just ride the bike up the ramp and it's just like, oh, it's a very anticlimactic moment for those young children there down in Havana. I couldn't be more happy with the way that Wall of Fire actually came to pass. From writing it to recording it and now finally putting it out and being out there playing live is great, so I'm, I'm really happy right now.